Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Jibble Time Tracker. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, in order for us to start using the Jibble Time Tracker here, we need to set up a few things. So that includes setting up our account. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to go to the official website, which is Jibble.io. And in here, what we need to do is we need to click on the track time for free button here. Now, we need to create our account. So we also need to specify some details about ourselves. So you could choose either I am an employee or a business owner. So in this case, maybe I want to say I'm a business owner here and I want to go ahead and start creating my workspace. So you can click on continue. Now from here, we need to provide some details like your full name, the email that you want to use and the password you want to use for your account. Now, you could you do this manually or you could do this automatically by using your already existing account, either your Facebook account, your Google account, your Microsoft account, or your Apple account, or in this case, even more if you want, if you have access to other accounts here. But let's go choose our Google account here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to choose our email account. And in here, let's go ahead and click on continue. Let's go ahead and wait for this to set up our account. Now we need to basically uh, uh, need to agree to the following uh, terms of service and privacy policy here. And also if you want to disable the uh, offer uh, to basically receive offers if you want. So I actually disabled that. Let's go agree to terms of service and po uh, privacy policy and click on create account. Now, once you've done that, it should start setting up your account here. So let's just wait for this one. So we need to enter a few things. That includes our organization name our country, the phone number they want to use for account and the industry and the organization size. Let's go ahead and answer the questions. So let's go and click on continue to proceed and we now want to specify our goals. So if you want to monitor time and attendance, review hours or for payroll or track time for projects. So maybe I want to say I want to monitor time and attendance as well as track time on projects. Let's go and click on continue. Now from here, what device your team will be using? So I want to say it is going to be mobile app a web browser or desktop apps. Let's go and click on continue. Now from here, it's going to ask you a few questions. So let's just say this is from a uh, friend or colleague. Click on continue here. And from here, let's just wait for it to load up. And as you can see right now, we've just created our account. Let's go ahead and click on accept here for data and tracking. And from here, you could go ahead and basically do the welcome uh, tutorials here if you want. So we have the uh, watch a short tutorial here for how to use Jibble or talk to an expert, just in case if you want to learn more. But in this case, let's go and click on the X at the top right here to basically uh, view our dashboard here. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to finish the onboarding process. So we have a few things like, for example, you want to set up activities, your work locations, your work schedule, the five rules for time tracking. So in this case, you can go ahead and start using those. So by the way, let's go ahead and click on X here for the uh, actual uh, tutorial of uh, uh, the uh, navigation tour here. So let's go ahead and first discuss the left panel here. So let's go ahead and go to settings. So settings allows you to edit from the names of settings. That includes like your people settings, your time tracking settings, your work schedules. So in this case, when you go to people here, this actually allows you to add different members into your workspace. So if you want to invite someone into your workspace, you can go and click on add members at the top right and just basically uh, send them this specific link here. Now. If you want to invite them via email, you go and use email here and add their full name and their email. And in this case, optional is their mobile number. Now you can send this, uh, their email, uh, send them via email, via SMS, or in this case, if you don't want to send an invite. So yeah, so in this case, you go and add members here. You could go and click add member and just click on save to start inviting them. Now, if you want to group different people into groups, you could go to groups here and basically uh, group them together. Now you can only use this if you have like more than, uh, in this case, a premium version of Jibble. So if you want to utilize this, you need to get the upgraded plan. Now, when you go to time tracking here, this actually allows you to uh, use or specify the device restrictions, like which uh, devices you can use Jibble, like mobile apps, web browser, or desktop apps. Now, if you also want to add your shared kiosk here, you can go and click on the uh, pencil icon itself, right, to allow that. Now, we have our uh, clock restrictions here. So we have face recognition. If you want to disable that, we have moderate here. We have strict. So depending on how you want to enforce your policies, you can go ahead and choose a specific one. 
Now, again, there are going to be some specific security you can change, but again, if you want to use further of the uh, restrictions uh, in here, you need to have the premium plan. Now, if you also want to use or add aut uh, automations here, like for example, if you want to enforce automatic clock in and clock out here, so you can go ahead and do that. But again, some features are in premium, so in order for you to use it, you need to use or have the premium plan. Now, we also have approvals here, which in this case allows you to basically set up pay periods, or in this case, process time sheets for failure with fixed pay periods and approval workflow. So if someone actually have a time sheet, uh, someone can actually approve that. So this is how you actually exactly do that. Now, we also have the work schedule, which allows you to basically define how or what time your employees or your members should actually clock in. So if you want to add a work schedule, you go and click on add work schedule here, specify the schedule, like for example, test schedule. From here, you can specify the uh, the day of the week, if it's fixed, flexible or weekly, and which time for that. So for example, by default, it's going to be 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., but you can specify it by clicking on it and changing the time itself. Now you have the split time sheet here if you want to add that and also a lot of a lot of other premium features here if you want to utilize them. Now you also have the option for time off and holiday. So since we have our employees working, they also have the option to take time off. So in this case, you could add holidays to this one and basically enforce that they uh, can take a break on that or they say leave on that specific day, which in this case actually helps you uh, helps your employees or your members to recover or recuperate from the work schedule. Now, we also have locations here, which in this case allows you to specify where uh, they can actually uh, time in or clock uh, t clock in or clock out. Also, we have activities and projects if you want to add, add our activities. So activities actually allows you to uh, basically uh, add activities, which in this case will be available to all the members So by default. So for example, I'm gonna say this is going to be sample activity. And you could add a activity code here and the description itself. Like let's go use yellow for this one, click on save. Now if you want to add projects, you go and click on projects. And in this case, in order for you to use it, you need to basically uh, have the ultimate plan for it. Now we also have organization here, which allows you to edit the details about your organization, like the uh, general details here, reporting currency, the subscriptions, the permissions, API credentials, but these are quite advanced. So let's just discuss the basics. Now, if you want to integrate your Jibble account to other platforms like Zapier, Slack, or Airtable, you could go ahead and install, or um, this is connect them to that specific type of extension. So this actually extends the usability and the uh, capabilities of Jibble. So let me go to dashboard here. This gives you ideas on your um, current and upcoming like work schedule or holidays. So basically from the name itself, this gives you different information from different sections that we just viewed, like holidays, track hours, our names, some details, and our activities and the locations here. Now, if you go to timesheet here, this actually gives you the option to review your time uh, team's timesheet, which in this case gives you the uh, of what, uh, how many, how they actually perform for that specific week. So if you want to, so let's go and go to timesheet here, and as you can see right now, this is oh, the default user, which is my name. So if you want to duplicate this timesheet, you can go ahead and do that. You can even edit this, like for example, if you want to add a new entry for this one, like if you if they actually work on that schedule and they didn't actually record that, you can go ahead and edit it in here. Now, if you want to go to approvals, this actually uh, allows you to approve timesheets. Now, live locations here allows you to basically track the location of your employees. So in this case, uh, gives you an idea on what, where they are, where they're currently working, if they really are in that specific location working on a specific project. But in order for you to use this, this one, you need to have the ultimate plan. Now time off, same itself, uh, these are going to be the time off, upcoming time off from your employees or members, which in this case, you can add a, a time off here by clicking, clicking on the add time off at the very bottom here or at the top right, basically selecting a member, which they will, uh, what. Uh, who's the member is going to take a time off the policy like for example this is going to be a vacation leave and the start date is going to be like tomorrow and it actually ends to on sunday now if you want to set this a half day you could go and do that but let's go and click on save you could also add reasons if you want as you can see the uh, following person 
Now, the thing with time off here is they need to actually do approval. So if you do see time off here, you can go and either click on the X or the approval button here. So if you approve this, like so I'll click on approve, click on confirm, the status would change and it it's now approved and they could now go ahead and basically proceed on their time off. Now, if you want to view reports, this is a great way for you to see the track time reports. If you want to export some files or information, this is how you do that. So if you want to track time here, this is how it will show you specific details for that specific time. So since we haven't added any details yet, it won't show much. But yeah, so once you started using the platform, it will automatically fill up. Now, in this case, uh, how do we start tracking? So as you can see at the very top, we have the play button here, which in this case allows you to clock in. So if you click on it, you have the option to specify the time, the date for this one. So I'm going to choose the today. And you can go and click on the activity here since we just recently added activity. So you can choose this one. And you can add notes here. Now you could add like reminders or uh, if you want. You can also add hours. But we want to click on clock in here. Click on save. And it's going to clock us in. And it's going to start recording our time here. And you have the option to switch different activities uh, during the uh, duration of your tracking you can even start a break it will pause your activity here and if you want to go and resume by the way our breaks are also recorded so it's going to show how long you actually took a break let's go and click on resume here since we want to proceed but yeah so in this case you could go and click on clock in for team members so you could choose a team member for this one if you want to clock them in but once you're done you could go and click on clock out to clock out from the activity or your uh, project like so you can click on save and as you can see, our dashboard has been automatically updated, as you can see right now. It shows our worked hours, our breaks, so it's a great way for you to really see uh, how uh, you are actually performing. So let's go exit this one. So yeah, so in this case, uh, those are the basics here and how to start using Jibble, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.